Welcome back, everyone. It's a tier 6 game on the northwest map. And I'm in my KV2. I'm platooning with Swingman, who's in his T150. Time to roll out. And we are rolling south. Intent find the enemy and smite with giant gun. KV1. Trying to dodge you there. Didn't do a very good job. No, it's like no, it's not too very well either. All right, so swing, of course, it's 250. He has a decent reload speed, good damage, good penetration on his guns. The idea, of course, is he's going to stick nearby and cover my reloads because I have a 20. It's a tw just over 20 second reload with this gargantuan derp gun. On the other hand, now gargantuan derp gun. This thing is hilarious yes, to shoot at people. So long as you keep getting hits, it doesn't work so well for this. Of course, that's true of all the guns, but this thing has a super long reload, so now you're very, very vulnerable for an extended period. So he's headed down for a spot where he can get into a good uh, side scraper and angling position to cover, and I'm going to stay up high here. And oh, we'll keep you in us having delicious, but uh, he's past the small gap half right there too quickly, so. Yeah, watch him roll down. Get stuck on a rock, so I'm not watching where I'm going. Too advancing. Yeah, swing an air up here. No, T150. That'd be a nice starter. Hello, T150. Don't one shot you. That does make you feel very good. You feel very good. The other T-150 a yeah. good party smash. You see there's another KV-2 behind him. He's actually a big concern because he actually can one-shot me. I don't remember what this thing is. What we like to call adequate against most enemies, but... Something you just don't want to present flat edges to. Ah, reloaded. Moved up to T-150. Oh, there's no four over there. Yeah, whatever. Come on, flat something. Ooh, wait, ammunition door? Oh, the ammunition door. Oh, it went... Low and then do an angle so it doesn't kill him. Well, that's okay. You know, let's have to try and engage your opponent, so I'm just gonna sit here and reload. Swing's holding that T 150 up pretty good. We're right, trying to finish the T 150. And Swing gets up first. Well, that's fine. Swing's already up to two kills. I got a fully loaded gun though. And there's a KV 2, an AT 2, and an M4 in front of me. They all look quite delicious. Oh, there's a Type G34 back there somewhere, too. Oh, KP2, uh, he's going to get away. So we'll just triple the AT2. All right, good reload again. What I really want to do is try and take the enemy KV2 out of play, because he has a significant danger, just like my tank is, because we've also got that monster. So I'll come out looking for him. There he is. Get a good hit on him. Oh, and I get lucky when he shoots back and misses. I'm not going to sit out there and aim at him. Even though I get the first shot, I'm not going to sit out there and aim at him to start because, quite frankly, I just get chewed to ribbons by all those tanks. So we're just going to wait patiently. Much like to finish him, the TV2 is like staying in cover. Ah, oh, missed him. Good for his front wheel there, missed him. Sit here, wait, reload. <coughs> Swing's going down to try and tie up the southern flank, so it's up to me to try and guard his rear with my gargantuan doom gun here. KV2 once again backs away. Alright, well, that's fine. Well, I'll just finish off this AT2 instead. There I are, my first kill of the match. Swing man picks up a third kill down below. He's got a whole bunch of tanks to deal with. A Cromwell and a Churchill 7, I guess. Oh, the KV2 bravely comes out after me. Does not get lucky. Tries to get away by going for a flat spot at the base of his turret. Boom! No more. No more KV2. This, pan this M4 finally remembers that the correct thing to do is while I'm reloading is to try and shoot me. He raises four, takes a shot, and then he backs away when I'm only half done reloading. Well, that's just fine. It means I just have to chase him. Swing gets the Churchill 7. Hello, M4. Bye, M4. Cool! Well, at this point, I look up and realize, oh, hey, somewhere over there, my team, our team started winning. We're now up 12 to 7. The swing's down here trying to corner a Cromwell, so I come running down thinking, oh, I'll help him corner the Cromwell. First, I'm about to go right until I see the swing has spotted him. The swing shoots and misses. The Cromwell, of course, chuckles and races right by him, going, ha 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 ha. I am glorious. I have, I have, I have not escaped that one. There we go. Cromwell runs right into the power of the derp. So he has, does not have the armor you pretend to let him withstand. The 
So there we go, that was actually a, a pretty straightforward match for us. At this point, we're definitely out of the fight. We're both on two big, slower Russian tanks. The last enemy is a M36 Jack at Jackson, literally in the middle of the board. But we're going to start slowly driving them anyways in hopes that we'll, we'll get to claim another kill. But he's got a Panzer 34, a TOG, a KV-1, a Jackson, and probably a T-28 all closing in on him. It's highly likely he's going to get very far. He does get the Panzer 34. At this point, a nearly full health TOG has just got him in his gun sights. And he starts pounding away with that big 17-pounder. Jackson doesn't stand a chance. And that's the end of the match. Hope you all enjoyed it. Now let's go take a look at the post-game stats. So here's the post-game stats for that match you just watched. As you can see, very nice one for my KV-2. You know, 43,000 credits gotten, keeping 35,000, 3,000 experience. Uh, Brothers in Arms, because Swing and I each got more than, got three or more kills and survived the match. High caliber, always fun to get in the KV-2. Excuse me, Bruiser. I get all the senior critical hits. Yeah, these are these new metal things. Fire for effect. I get that a lot. It means I did more damage to the enemy uh, than I had hit points. And uh, I got at least four kills. So I got this new, um, like, like marksman badge or whatever they call it. Plus a first class, which tells you just how good this tank is that I just did that well and only got a first class. So moving on to the next screen, you'll see, yep. Best damage, best experience on the team. Swingman though, right behind uh, with second dam highest damage. Uh, popping away with, his, with the little 107. And if you watch the scores in that one, it was actually looked pretty fairly on the team uh, for a lot of the match. It wasn't until near the very end that suddenly things swung back against them uh, as we engaged the enemy. So yeah, that was actually a pretty good one uh, for us. Finally, personal stat screen. Nine shots fired, eight hits, all of which penned kind of sorta i think only one or two of those actually flat out penned the target and killed it and that was actually the well probably the one the cromwell and the one the m4 everything else required uh at least two non-penetrating hits to actually kill him but 100 kilometer howitzer still hurts a lot when it hits you with a non-penetrating hit took two hits one of which bounced off and one of which um did not oh, oh gosh for you know a tiny amount of damage uh, overall just a very very successful match for the kv2 anyways i hope you all enjoyed watching that match good game and good night